Hi there, everyone. Welcome to this Google Product Manager mock interview. Today, we are doing a really, really, really common question. It's a product design question, and it's the favorite product question. I'm delighted to say that with us to take on the role of candidate is Mark. Mark, how are you doing? Good. Thanks, John. Hi, everyone. My name is Mark. I'm a uh, former Google product manager. I worked at Google for many, many years and gave this interview a ton of times. So I'm uh, super excited to uh, give a quick demo. All right, Tom, let's get started. Yeah, really excited to have you with us. So uh, yeah, with no further ado, let's get into it. Mark, the question I'd like to ask you is, what is your favorite Google product and why? Ah, okay. What is my favorite Google product and why? Um, let me think about that for a second. Um, so actually, I'm going to choose an interesting one, um, kind of a different one. I think that's something that speaks to me, but also to the kind of sophistication of the product itself. Um, my favorite Google product is actually Google Cloud Platform. And uh, let me explain why. Um, so I'm going to explain why it is in a couple in kind of a little bit of a framework. So first, I'm going to talk about what uh, what I think the business objective of Google Pla Cloud Platform is. Uh, two, I'm going to talk about the user problems that it solves uh, and why it's interesting. And the third thing is I'm going to talk about is the the solutions um, that it actually provides for the different segments and why it's better than competitors, why it's some trade-offs and maybe even some improvements. Maybe a Google Cloud product manager will, will hear me and make some improvements out of this as well too. So that's cool. All right, so let's, um, let's talk about business objective, right? So overall, the mission uh, of Google is about making the world's information um, accessible and useful. And if you think about Google Cloud Platform, that's really about making it available for developers. And you think about its developers. So, like myself, I'm a I'm a developer. Uh, I like to code things for fun. Um, but it's also about developers, and it's also about small businesses who are creating uh, products. And it's also actually also about large products who create who create products. So, really, if we think about the business objective uh, for Google Cloud Platform. It's enabling these different segments um, to build compute products and computing products on Google's backbone um, to help them enable their business. Uh, and I think that's very, very powerful because it speaks from a old developer like myself to small, small enterprises to, to very large companies, and it does so in a different way. Um, so the business objective is, uh, in my mind, uh, it's a great business problem to solve in general. The favorite product question is so common at Google PM interviews, as well as at Meta and Amazon, that it's really worth thoroughly preparing two answers in advance. Prepare one on a Google product and one on a non-Google product that you're very familiar with. You may want to begin your answer, as Mark did, by putting it into the context of Google's overall mission before zooming into the product mission and its business objective. Okay, so what are the user problems that it's trying to solve? Well, there's uh, a few user problems and based on the, on the segment. So as a, as a small developer, right? Um, look, I don't want to host my own servers. I don't want to, you know, have my own IT. I want things that I can get up and running quickly, create an MVP. I want to be able to write an app in a day and deploy it and be live, right? Literally, I used to have an expression like, look, if you can't write an app in three days, you're done. Right, like literally, like just being able to write something quickly and get it live is being done. If you look at small businesses, obviously they're a little bit more sophisticated, right? So they're going to want to have more services. They're going to have things like you know Google Domains, and maybe they want Gmail, and maybe they're going to want you know uh, you know storage platforms and a little bit more compute and, and maybe some different databases and so forth, right? So they're going to want a little bit more uh, uh, complexity. Still not super complex, right? But more complexity to help that small business. Um, and then if you look at large businesses, right, large businesses historically have done, you know, lots of development. They've done it in-house. You know, they might have server farms in-house. They might have a tremendous technology in-house. They might have like all the, they might have their own server centers. They've got all these things. And then they're asking themselves, like, why did we do this? Why are we spending tens of millions of dollars on this? Hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe billions of dollars. Who knows? Why are we spending all this money on this when we could get this same stuff? Um, cheaper, faster, 
and, and, and package it in a better way to make, make things better. So I, I think it's really interesting from, from all of those um, user segments um, that there's a, a clear problem that Google Cloud Platform addresses. So then if you look at then on the solution side of the equation, um, Google Cloud Platform has everything for all of these segments, right? So from your small developer who wants to get up and running, you know, you can get uh, you can get an, an app instance and you can get some storage. You can literally get code up and running right away. And it's and it's very quick and there's a Google Cloud console and you can see it all working and literally you can put together a demo and you know in, a, in an hour or two. And there's lots of samples and you know sample code and sample apps and things like that. It's just super simple. Um, from a, a small business perspective, like I said, then it gets more sophisticated, right? So you've got Google domains, you've got file storage, you've got app engine, you've got you know all the things that a small business would need would need to set up their to set up their business on on Google Cloud. And then as you get to uh, an even larger enterprise, um, the solutions that they have are you know everything from compute, to storage, databases, analytics, um, AI, um, networking, developer tools. I mean, the, the list of things that they have is literally 25 long. In fact, it's a little bit of an unfair question when I say, name your favorite Google product and then to say Google Cloud Platform, because really it's a nest of about 50 products and probably even more within this overall platform. Um, but it's pretty amazing. In favorite product answers, it's important to talk about multiple user segments. This is necessary because your answer shouldn't just be about you and how you perceive and interact with the product. As a PM, you need to show that you can appreciate the product from different user perspectives and understand the problems that different users face. As well as empathy, they're looking for a lot of detail here. They want to see you really know and love this product. And you'll notice that Mark ran through a long list of Google Cloud Platform features and sub-products to show that he really knew the product intimately. Um, so it's part of that. I, mean, I want to answer two questions. Um, which is one, why is Google platform better than competitors? And second are, what are the trade-offs and maybe improvements that they can make? So one is uh, better, than, better than competitors. So I'm going to um, pick off two competitors just for fun. So one is on the, on the simple side of the equation. Um, and I've used, I've used all of these, by the way. Um, so I speak from a little bit of experience. Uh, which is why I like the product. So on the simple side of the equation, you've got somebody like DigitalOcean. Uh, DigitalOcean, great, great for a small business, indie developer to get up and running, launch some code, you can do it really quick, but it's literally like, you've got to be like command line specific, right? So it's really good and really fast, but you've also got to be pretty technical to make it happen. So good for the small developer, but also hard, but also for the enterprise, not really suited well for the enterprise and some and small businesses, I think it's pretty good, but enterprise, it really kind of falls apart. Um, if I then go on to the other side of the pendulum, something like AWS, um, AWS is, is amazing as well too, actually. And, and to be fair, I, I built my first startup on AWS and that was successful. So I, I don't want to throw too many darts at AWS because I still like it. Um, but AWS is also fantastically complex. So actually, I think it's a great enterprise solution, but it's funny. I've gone back to it recently, like, oh, I should maybe hop on AWS again. And I found as a consumer, it is just dizzyingly complex and and just like I, like as a as a developer, I'm like, wow, this is really too complicated. Um, and so I, I feel like they've really solved the enterprise space, but they've lost they they've lost the indie developer in in my mind. And so in some ways, I think that Google Cloud Platform does a better job at the indie developer, which they can grow into a small business, which they can grow into an enterprise business. And I might argue that AWS is, might be better on the enterprise side of the equation. Um, but uh, but on the indie side, where you kind of get started, um, uh, I think uh, I think Google uh, Cloud Platform is better. And then like what what kind of things would I improve? Um, so one is um, uh, the one thing. It's funny as uh, Google, when Google Cloud first launched years and years and years ago, I actually felt it was too complex. Uh, and then they did an amazing job at making it simpler for developers, which is great. And that's when I got back on it actually, and uh, and they did a great job at that. But what could they do still? Um, actually, interestingly, I still think they could. Uh, I think they could make it even simpler for developers, especially your indie developers. Um, I think that um, they could have more, more, you know, more samples, more how tos. I think they could actually also expose their AI and ML to more indie developers, um, which I think would be fantastic if they did that. Um, 
I'm not sure how they would, but that's why they've got great product managers to figure all that out. Um, but I'd love them to take those advanced tools and, and kind of figure out a way to make them accessible to um, individual developers. I think it'd be awesome. Um, yeah, so I think there we have it. My favorite product, Google Cloud Platform. Um, I love their business objective. Um, they solve some really unique user problems. They've got a great solution set for it. Um, and you know, clearly they've got things to work on, but uh, I think it's a great, I think it's a great overall product. Okay, yeah, cool. Very interesting answer. First, for each of the user problems you've identified, you should explain the product solutions and why they're better than the competitors' solutions, as Mark did here. You can also identify trade-offs. So go over the potential downsides of the design and features of the product and how that plays against the advantages. Finally, to conclude, you can link back to the business objective again and give a brief summary of your answer. I was interested to hear you talk there, like comparing it to AWS. Um, do you think it's you think it's better than AWS? I want to, I want to hear you say a bit more about sure. that. Why you think that is? Sure, you bet. So, um, so I think on an AWS, and this is a toss up. And I'll probably start a religious war either at either at Amazon or Google or both. I don't know, um, but I think it's better for different segments. I think for the um, individual developer segment, I would actually argue that um, Google Cloud Platform is a better product. For the enterprise solution, actually, I think it's a pretty close tie. Um, and I've, you know, I've been at enterprise companies as well too um, that are not Google or or Amazon. <laughs> um, and I think it's I think it's a pretty close tie. I, I think I think I have to give Amazon probably a little bit of an edge in some ways, but almost because AWS was quickest to market. It's kind of like the no one ever get fired for hiring IBM. No one's ever going to get fired for hiring AWS because uh, it's a it's a good solution that people are familiar with. But there are some things I think uh, Google does better. I think Google does much better on AI, for example, by far. Um, uh, and, and so for that reason, I would you know it's it's so the developer definitely towards uh, towards Google on the enterprise side. Um, I, I would say um, probably lean lean a little bit AWS with Google on the AI side. And for the middle part of the segment, the kind of the, the small business emerging business, um, I would probably lean Google a little bit because they, they're also tying it well within their ad platform. And if you're a small business, you're probably using the Google ad platform to help grow your business. When asked to dig into his comparison between cloud and its rival product, AWS, Mark again segmented the users. Rather than just giving a generic perspective, he looked at how the two products address different types of users with their different problems. This added real sophistication to his answer here. Okay, yeah, I think that's fair enough. Uh, we'll see if uh, how much uh, controversy gets, <laughs> gets stirred up by that. Um, and well, one finally, finally I wanted to see Obviously, you love Google Cloud, but what do you most dislike about it? Oh, what do I most dislike about it? Um, hmm. um, I think some of the things, there's a couple things in there that are so alike, I can't tell you the difference. I think like like App Engine versus Google Compute, like what, what's the difference really? Like, come on guys. <laughs> they, I always use it in, in product world. I like to use this concept of having sharp edges between products. And I think, um, uh, and AWS does this too, by the way. Um, I think Google Cloud has a number of services which are really close to each other. And it's and the lines between them two are pretty blurry. And so it's hard to know which one to pick. And, and so I think they could do a better job at creating um, better edges between their little product lets that they have within their product. Don't be afraid to poke holes in your favorite product, even if it's made by the company you're interviewing for, in this case, Google. Try to make your criticisms in a fun way and with a smile on your face. When suggesting an improvement to the product, the improvement should be very specific, as Mark's was. Cool, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good answer. Um, Mark, well done, that's the end of the interview. Um, yeah, you did a super job, and uh, yeah, how, hope you hope you enjoyed um, the experience with us today. Great, thank you, Tom, and thanks everyone for listening in. Hello, really hope you found that useful. If you did, you can like and subscribe, and why not come visit us at igotanoffer.com. There you can find more videos, useful frameworks, and question guides, all completely free. And you can also book expert feedback one-to-one -one with our coaches from Google, Meta. Amazon, etc. Thank you and good luck with your interview.